Blossom family and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Cherry and if you're new here, welcome and thank you for tuning in. I am almost ready to board a plane to Tokyo. We leave in the morning, so you guys are probably seeing this a few days after we've arrived. So be sure to be following me on Instagram, which is at Disney Miss Cherry. We're gonna be doing some live updates. We're gonna be vlogging the entire trip. It's gonna be quite the experience. I'm so excited to go. Several of you have requested a pack with me video for what I'm bringing with me for my two weeks in Japan. So, I am going to go ahead and get started. I hope this isn't going to isn't going to be too long of a video, but just so you know there will be some repeats of some things that I had in my pack with me video that I put up in January for my January trip to Walt Disney World, which I will link up above. So be sure to check that out if you haven't checked it out. Um, but I'm gonna be linking all of the information for most all of the products down below. Now, if there's something I missed, just let me know down in the comments and I'll add it as soon as possible. I know that some of you guys really want um, to get some of these items for when you guys go on vacation or you travel so i hope that you guys will find this helpful and this is just a little bit about how i pack dissertation i pack a lot i like to be prepared i like to have all of my comforts with me so i am not one of those people that like just brings a backpack for two weeks that's not my jam um and that is not what you're going to find in this video <laughs> So let's get started. Let's start with what I wear on the plane. So what I wear on the plane never changes. Um, actually, the shoes generally do change. But I wear this incredible sweater. It is so comfy. It's got like dolman sleeves and it goes past my butt. And I wear this with leggings. My favorite leggings are leggings from Old Navy. Now, these are brand new. I just purchased them. They're high-waisted leggings. They actually still have the tag on them. And they are in a long size. So I'm 5'10". I need a little bit of extra length. So I love their leggings. I don't know how much they are. $29.99 and they are so, so worth it. The next thing I like to wear on the plane, and there will be just a black tank top that goes with this. I don't think I brought it downstairs to show you guys. It's still up in the bedroom, but I bought these brand new Merrill shoes. They're like heaven on your feet. I kind of Googled like best shoe to travel in, and these came up. They were a little bit expensive, but they have this like really soft, top to the shoe and then look how cool with the like tan um, sole. I just thought it was really cute. These are going to go with everything. I thought this would be absolutely perfect to wear in Tokyo. So that is what I'm going to wear on the plane. And the next thing that we're going to go through is my backpack. Now my backpack is a high Sierra backpack. It's a pretty inexpensive backpack. One of my most favorite packs to bring with me. It just has so many pockets and I'm like a pockets gal. I love hiding all of my treasures in all of these pockets. So we open the tall pocket and I have my passport. And this is a Danielle Nicole passport holder that says a whole new world. I got this when I was in Las Vegas. My wallet and my retractable Sharpie. Now, I know it's a little bit weird, but this retractable Sharpie is for all of the autographs that I'm going to be getting in the parks. I think if for characters that are plush characters, it's a little bit easier for them to grip like a larger pin like this and you can just click it and hand it over to them. And so this is my preferred autograph pin in the parks. Of course, we have to bring miniature Lotso with us. And then in this top pocket, I have gum. So this is extra gum. It's in one of those big plastic packages with 35 pieces. I will be putting some uh, travel Kleenex in here. And then also I am trying this new product called, it's new to me, it's not a new product, called No Jet Lag. And basically it's an herbal supplement that you take at every takeoff and then every two to four hours after that to try to prevent um, issues with jet lag. We are going to be on quite a drastic time difference and we're gonna be hitting the ground running. So 
we are not going to be risking that. So Jesse and I are gonna try it out. We will let you know how that goes. We'll probably tell you guys in the vlog, so be sure to watch out for the vlogs. So the next thing that I have is my bag that has all of my liquids in it. I got this reusable quart size pouch, which if you travel a lot, this is amazing. You can fit so much more in here than you can a quart size Ziploc bag. So if you have the opportunity, I just picked this up at Target. You can get so many more liquids on the airplane. So I just have my liquid lipsticks. Um, I've got fingernail polish, uh, cuticle oil, a couple of hand lotions, my concealer, um, and also my moisturizer for my face because I get so dried out on planes. The next thing that I have is a little toothbrush holder. This pouch is super duper adorable. It's no longer available, I'm sorry. It was in the Target dollar section like two years ago. And I have a couple of travel toothbrushes for Jesse and I, these are kind of cool. They like click open, there we go. So you like open them like that. And since we're gonna be on such a long flight, I got those for us, a little miniature thing of flossers, and then also some Listerine tabs. And in my liquids bag is also toothpaste. It's just hidden in all of the junk that's in there. The next thing I have is very important to me. This is my itinerary holder. This is by a company called Dekine. This is the brand of luggage that I typically take with me on travel. Because we're going to be doing a lot of public transportation with our luggage, I decided to get the four roller top bags just because it's going to be a little bit simpler taking it through public transportation. So that's why my regular luggage is no longer Dekine just for this trip. But anyway, Dekine makes incredible things. We got Jesse a Japanese SIM card. So this is his Japanese SIM card that was pre-activated. And then I have printed out um, I have our Japanese rail pass, which is our voucher to pick up that is for all of our public transportation travel. And then I seriously printed out every single one of our hotel bookings, itineraries, you name it. So it's all here and it's all tabbed out. And yes, it is in sequential order. The next thing I have in here is several pins and then I have our emergency family numbers and the US Embassy's information. I just feel like it's just nice to have. You never know when you're gonna need what. And then the next thing I have tucked in here is several envelopes and the envelopes are full of cash. So one of them, and by cash, I mean yen. I purchased yen from Wells Fargo here locally in Anchorage. So this is for Tokyo Disney food and also souvenirs. They only accept cash for Tokyo Disney tickets, which guys, there was a whole debacle about that that I would love to speak with you about. And I, I will be making a Disney planning video because I feel like there is a lot to share about making reservations and making plans over there. I am not an expert, but my goodness, have I learned so much. So anyway, long story short, I had to have yen in order to have my Disney tickets. There's about $500 US cash in this envelope right here, which is terrifying. Okay, and then also miscellaneous cash is in another unmarked envelope. Now, I know it's it seems like weird to carry cash, but they're a very cash-based community. So um, most everything that you buy is gonna be in yen. So we are, um, working with that and and we have per brought our own cash which wasn't a big deal I just had to order it the next thing I am bringing is just like a little bit of trail mix because I don't usually bring this but because the flight is so long I just figured it's nice to have a little bit of a snack just in case and also another thing I have in here that I did not bring into this room is that I do have a Nalgene water bottle it's a 32 ounce water bottle and Nalgene makes the most amazing water bottles they basically they basically never leak like it's amazing um, and also like my husband has had the same water bottle for years and years and years and years and years like they are indestructible 
the next pouch I have um, this is the Smooth Talker pouch. This is uh, the Scuttle pouch that I got from Oh My Disney. Inside this pouch, this is actually made to go inside of my purse. I have my Osmo Pocket camera. This camera is incredible. It is one of those auto correcting, um, auto, it like moves with you and so it like keeps your picture perfectly still. It's amazing. And then I have this little doodad here. When you open it up, it's got about six extra vlogging camera batteries inside of it, including a couple of Osmo Pocket accessories. And then this little beauty is my SD card holder. I brought several SD cards because we are gonna be taking a lot of footage, a couple of lens cleaning wipes, and then also my handle for my Osmo Pocket. That's gonna be transferred directly into my purse right when we arrive in Tokyo. And I will kind of be telling you what will be going into my purse along with this, just because I want to keep it close to me because it's got cash in it. The next thing I'm bringing along is my turtle. Um, it is a neck pillow. I am not one of those people that can do regular neck pillows. So this actually goes underneath your chin and it's kind of spring loaded. And then it can wrap around and, and then it, it has Velcro on it, like a very soft Velcro and you can kind of place it anywhere along this area and it's very nicely adjustable and you can like just chill out. It's so nice. And I just don't, I'm not a traditional sleeper on planes. Like I get, I just have to have like the perfect, it's so annoying. I have to have like the per perfect circumstances. I have to have like my cape on, I have to have this noise canceling headphones, eye mask, like I am a, look like a diva. But this is the only neck pillow I have ever been able to use. And it's not super expensive. And I would highly suggest it if you can't use your typical neck pillows that you get at the airport, try this one out. The other amazing advantage, it's super duper compact. Like this weighs nothing and is super tiny. The next thing that I have is my LA Made scarf. Now this scarf is super giant. It's over a hundred inches. It's massive. It's basically like carrying around a blanket. And I have it in two colors, gray and black. And this thing is incredible. I can't even get it all on frame. It is basically like I'm a very tall person and I can cocoon myself in this. And so I basically do not leave home without it to go on a trip. It's the best. The next thing that I I'm carrying with me now, this also goes in my purse. Inside of this is my extra battery pack and it has two ports that it can charge at once. And so I have Jesse's charge cord my charging cord and then a charging cord for our headphones and also in this is a wall charger as well that can go with any of those cords and the reason why is that we just don't ever want to be caught where we cannot use our devices. The next thing that we have are my noise canceling headphones. I use Sony noise canceling headphones. These are bomb. They are pricey but they completely changed my life when it came to riding on planes. I am very sensitive to noise and I couldn't sleep on planes for years, years. I got these headphones and I was able to sleep on a plane. Like it completely changed my life and like no joke. And flying from Alaska to all different places it's really far to even fly. I mean, it's like three and a half hours to Seattle. Um, and then like to go to Orlando, it's 12 hours. So anyway, these are the noise canceling headphones. They are wireless. Uh, the nice thing about them is they're super duper comfortable and they're also like ergonomic. Their control panel is actually in the side of the ear so you can skip songs. If you go like this, you turn it off and so you can hear people talking 
which I think is hilarious. So if you're sitting next to someone on a plane and you want to hear what they're talking about, you just give it a little tap and then you can hear what's going on around you, which is really funny. The other thing that's pretty amazing about these is it has a really long battery life. Like they last for a really long time. And then inside of here, I have this cable which goes it's headphone to headphone so it goes into my headphones and into my computer or my iPad and then I have an eye mask which is silk so it won't mess up my makeup and then I just have traditional earbuds and the reason why is on a long plane ride I just don't want to ever be caught without the ability to listen to something and then also I have a headphone splitter so Jesse and I can watch movies together. So that's what I have in this little doodad. And then moving on, I have, this is my power cord for my MacBook Air. Jesse has woven it with paracord because I have a tendency to ruin, absolutely 100% ruin my MacBook Air charge cords and they're like a hundred dollars so he made um he wove this for me so it's protected which i really appreciate because i'm really tired of paying for that and then next we have my ipad um and i know it's a little bit weird i'm bringing my ipad and my computer but the reason why is because netflix you can only download netflix movies onto mobile devices at this point you can't download them to max so there was an application that was out but it like doesn't work with the new mojave anyway it was really complicated so i just caved and decided to bring both and then my macbook air is also coming with us so the reason why is because i have a lot of editing to do i'm trying to get all of the vlogs done from walt disney world by the time that we get back because I love editing on planes it just keeps me super duper focused and passes the time for me really well so I will definitely be doing a lot of editing on the plane okay so that's what's in my backpack let's move on to what's in my carry-on bag okay the next bag that we are going to look at is this bag it's by 31 and what's really nice about this bag is that on the back it has one of those areas where you can actually slide it over one of the handles of your uh, rolly luggage and then it also has two giant mesh pockets on each side which is so great so this is a very versatile carry-on I don't use it as much as I probably should but I am really pleased with it. I'm so glad that I purchased it so long ago. The first thing I'm pulling out is my vlogging camera. This is the Monfrotto Pixie. This is an amazing tripod. So here's your, it does your tripod. And then also if you press the button, you can move the mechanism around, which is wonderful. And then also I decided on taking a wrist strap which is not normal for me, but I find it very, very convenient for vlogging. So I have this new wrist strap that I got off of Amazon that I absolutely love. And this is the Canon G1X. So it's a little bit different than your G7X. It's a little bit better video and photo quality. The next thing in my bag is my emergency kit. Now my emergency kit has like Alka-Seltzer, it's got flossers, Tums, it's got deodorant, a Tide stick, and then wet wipes. And this is just something, and oh, it's also got a blister stick too, just in case you get blisters on your feet. This is something that's gonna be transferred to my purse. I just love having this whenever, wherever we go. Jesse um, gets heartburn a lot, so having Alka-Seltzer with us is definitely a good idea. The next thing I am bringing in the carry-on bag is my Danielle Nicole Nicole kiss the girl bag and it is full of all of my makeup and some makeup wipes the next thing I am pulling out is my prescriptions and also my multivitamin I have placed them in their own containers and I did bring the original boxes I have asthma and so my inhalers come in these large boxes I included that because I believe I'm going to have to fill out a claim information for pharmaceuticals going into Japan I'm not 100% sure guys, I'll definitely keep you updated. I heard there's some like special requirements, specifically if you bring inhalers, Ugh, we will see. Um, I need them regardless, so I don't know what we're gonna do if um, something 
doesn't work there but anyway we'll figure it out when we get there the next thing that I have is this file folder this file folder I have printed out the Tokyo Disney Resort guide this is by tdrexplorer.com I will link his information down below but basically it is an entire encyclopedia of everything that you need to know when going to the Tokyo Disney parks now I will say this is something that I've studied it's got like highlighted areas and also I will probably be leaving this behind when I leave because I don't need it but um, I have this guide in PDF format so I'll be able to reference it later on if I need to but this has been incredibly helpful in the planning of my trip and I am so thankful that Chris over at TDR Explorer created that because it was invaluable how amazing it was so thank you Chris you're probably not watching but I do really appreciate everything that you put into this guide the guide was like nine dollars guys and if you're going to Tokyo Disney like this is what you need to know it has a definition of every single restaurant every single ride suggested itineraries it's got reviews on all of the hotels like it is gold gold okay next I have my electronics kit this is a kit that I bought a while ago and I keep my camera guide I've had a couple of glitches with my camera and decided that the guide is the best thing to keep with me I have several charging cords I have my Canon G1X battery chargers I keep at least two of them with me I do have I believe four but I'm only bringing two on this trip and then also I have this four port USB charger this thing is awesome by the way it um, I will link it down below for you guys that's what's in that kit the next bag I have is my silly sidewalker bag from oh my disney with sebastian the crab on it external hard drive just in case i need to offload some footage onto it and or also take anything off of my laptop i always travel with this i know you guys are like are you bringing are you leaving anything in your home i am trust me okay and then the next thing i have in here is our wi-fi device now I know that when you get to Tokyo, you can buy your own portable Wi-Fi, and it is highly suggested that everyone gets a portable Wi-Fi device there that actually uses cell network. And I decided to pre-purchase mine, and the reason why is because I wanted to be able to use it immediately when we landed. So I've already registered it, I've already set it up, it's fully charged, and I've purchased a plan. I just have to basically turn it on when we get to Tokyo, got to find the cell tower and we should be good to go and the reason why I did that is because my cell phone only has texting available I can't actually use any data and the reason why I don't own my cell phone my cell phone is owned by my company so I have to abide by some of their rules and so it was really important to me to have that Wi-Fi device this is called Skyroam and I will give you guys a review after I get back because I am not 100% sure how well it works yet so we will see the next thing I have is another battery pack and I will be putting that in my purse as well. And then I have this Lonely Planet Tokyo Guide. This is a wonderful guide. Uh, Lonely Planet is such an amazing company. They make guides for all over the world. And they also have a full Tokyo City map in here and it has all the things that you would need to know about getting around Tokyo, how to hail a taxi cab, information on electrical outlets, information on embassies. It's got what happens if you have to go to an emergency room. It's basically everything that you need to know for the country that you're going to. So I will link Lonely Planet down below. If you guys are traveling to another country and want more information, this is an awesome, awesome book. They also are split up by sections of Tokyo, which I thought was really neat. So we're gonna be staying in Shibuya. It tells you all of the top rated places to eat and to visit. It's a very cool book. I would highly suggest it if you are going to another country. Okay, and then the very last thing in there is I have my purse at the very bottom of this bag and the reason why is because I'm going to be sticking this guy onto my luggage handle while we're going through the train and then this will be on my person. So I have nothing in this bag, everything 
is taken out and placed in other places. Oh, and also I am bringing two pairs of sunglasses. They're both Quay sunglasses, Q-U-A-Y. They are amazing. You guys know they're my favorite sunglass brand and I'm bringing the big black ones and the big mirrored ones. Okay, so we're gonna start in these pockets. So socks, underwear, bras, you guys don't need to see that. The next pocket has a couple of extras in it that I wanted to show you. I have this from Daiso. My friend Alex gave me this. It's so darn cute. This is just a little laundry bag. This is gonna help keep some of my garments that are not clean <laughs> separated from my clean garments because we are planning on doing laundry halfway through the trip. So that's gonna help keep things a little bit separate. And then also when I was at Target today, I found these super cute bobby pins that are gorgeous and I love all the bright colors. And so I decided just to buy them just in case I wanted to wear them in the parks. And then in here I have a couple of bags of restful sleep. These are little uh, melatonin chews that you can take uh, to help get, you a good night's sleep basically and with jet lag and with basically starting out on this trip like going 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 I thought that this was a really good investment to go ahead and get just in case so I actually have two packets of these that I'm bringing along on this trip and also sometimes in places that I'm not used to I have a really hard time sleeping my number one item I'm bringing with me I will always bring my Lotso. Lotso comes with me everywhere I go, so he's definitely going to Tokyo. And he's a very well-loved. Like, I, it's so funny, I see people getting new Lotsos when they do their Disney hauls, and I'm like, oh, that's what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> the next thing is definitely worth its weight in gold. This is a collapsible duffel bag. Check this thing out. So I do not leave home without this. And actually, my giant Lotso, the one that's like, this big actually fit into here. But look at this. Look how giant that duffel bag got. Isn't that awesome? So this is something that I love to travel with. It has saved me so much money. And I am very thankful that I have it. I figured with all the shopping that's going to happen in Tokyo that I definitely should be bringing it along. Now I will say I have a small 20 inch Samsonite luggage that's a rolly luggage that is coming with me that I'm not showing you in this video that's completely empty for souvenirs. Because your girl's gonna buy some things from Tokyo Disney, okay? So in the first, so everything's in packing cubes and the reason why it just helps keep everything super organized for me. So in the first packing cube is shoes. Now, I am going to be wearing those Merrells on the plane, but I love my Sperry's. These are just like a plain Sperry with, uh, they're like a plain gray canvas with little white leather laces. They're adorable and so comfortable, like the most comfortable little tennies you could ever wear. So I'm bringing those. And then I'm bringing my sparkly pink Toms. These are specifically going to be going with me into the Disney parks. The next shoe I have is just your plain black ballet flat by Lucky Brand. These are super duper comfortable as well. And they're great to travel with because they get, they're super compact, really lightweight. And then my most favorite sandals ever, my Sanook sandals. These are these sling sandals that are made from old yoga mats. And these things are so comfortable. Oh, also, before I forget, I am bringing along my Tinkerbell slippers. These slippers are just like slipper socks from Old Navy, but look at them. Aren't they so flippin' cute? They were on clearance during Christmas. I got them for like $4 and I have them in black, and I also have them in teal, and I am living for them. They are so comfortable. And again, guys, I'm all about comfort, so I'm definitely 
I'm definitely bringing those along for a reason. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my toiletry bag. It's from L.L. Bean. And my best friend Nikki has one of these. I believe that hers is Eddie Bauer. But these things are incredible. They keep everything so organized. So on both sides I have, so here's my toothbrush. And on this side I have my toothpaste. Love. And then you open this puppy up. This is what's so cool about it. So I don't know if I can fit it all on screen. But you open this guy up. And it has a mirror on the top here. And then it also can hang, which is amazing. So I have my moisturizer up here and also micellar water as well. And then in this pocket, I just have deodorant and flossers. And then I have my um, micellar water pads, two uh, cotton pads, my loofah, and then I also have some, a ring holder so I can take my rings off at night, my razor, lotion, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, dry shampoo, shaving cream, hairspray, and hair oil, and Q-tips. So that is all in here. It also, I'm not gonna get it out, but it does have a caddy that you can pop out and take into the shower with you in case you're staying in a place where you're sharing bathrooms where you don't wanna like leave your stuff in the bathroom. It does have a shower caddy that pops out, which is so cool. It's like part of the actual, part of the actual bag and you just clip it out. It's awesome. We're bringing our own beach towels. Now, the reason why is I'm a big person. Jesse's a big person. We have heard that at the onsen that we are staying at, their towels are very, very, very small. So this is a traditional like beach towel size in the United States. So we decided to get these. And the other cool thing about these is they can also, they're so small that I should be able to fit this in my backpack. And when we have to sit on the ground for parades in Tokyo Disney, we can take these with us. So I got one for me and one for Jesse. So those are both in here. I got black, he got blue. The next bag is pants. So I am bringing three pairs of jeans. I'm bringing a black pair, a blue pair, and a gray pair of jeans. I have my pajamas and I'm just wearing these blue joggers. And then my favorite pajama shirt is my Mickey Spirit Jersey from Shop Disney that says boo on the back. Yes, it is Halloween and it is glow in the dark so it looks really cool at night. I love this thing. It's so, oh my gosh, I cannot fold. And then also I am bringing overalls. So I got these overalls from American Eagle. They are super stretchy, super comfortable, and also available in long hauler. So if you're looking for some good overalls, they've got some great designs right now. The next pouch I'm going to bring out is swimming suits. So I'm bringing two swimming suits on this trip. The first swimming suit is super cute. I got it from Target. It's just a traditional one piece that's floral that has like a really nice ex like accentuated waist. So I'll probably wear this at the onsen that we're going to at Mount Fuji. And then guys, okay, so I didn't know this. I was walking through the mall the other day and on Torrid's front window it said, Little Mermaid 30th anniversary and I'm like, I better go in and look and see what they got because anything that says Little Mermaid, I, I obviously have to investigate. So I went in there and what I did not realize was they stock women's sizes 10 and up. And I'm like, oh, a new clothing store. You guys know how much I love clothing. So this is incredible. So I'm a size 12 and I was so excited because they have clothing that's made for like tall, curvy women. Like I am into this. So guys, if you're looking for a really good place for curvy women, tall women, Torrid is amazing. And they have several Disney items there too. But they had something that I have been looking for for so long. They had high-waisted bathing suits. And for me, as a woman of, that's 5'10 and pretty curvy, it's impossible to find a bathing suit that will go above your belly button. Uh, not anymore. So I was able to get this super duper cute mermaid print clear like mesh sides 
bathing suit and it goes right above my belly button right on the waist where it should go like it's made for a woman that is my height like this is incredible and then look how cute the top is this top oh my gosh I love it so much so here's the top is that so cute so I just thought it was so flirty and so fun and so yeah so here's the swimming suit guys um, I don't know if I'll take pictures in it or like put it on the vlog, but I'm in love with it. And oh my gosh, a magic band. <laughs> don't need that. <laughs> and next thing that I have is a little heart case that I got from Target. And this holds all of my jewelry. So before I go on trips, sometimes I like to purchase some new earrings and jewelry just to wear just for me you know, like kind of a special touch for the trip opens up and I have several new pairs of earrings in here you guys will have to let me know down below if that's something that you do I like to do new jewelry and I also love to wear a new fragrance in a new place because it reminds you when you wear that fragrance it like takes you back there the next thing that I'm going to show you is just my bag of hair products or hair things so and and also it's kind of miscellaneous in here too so let's see what we have I have my medicine bag I take this with me every single place I go it has medicine it's got Dramamine Advil Aleve night it's got NyQuil DayQuil eye drops gas X band-aids uh, it's got airborne it's got earplugs everything that you could possibly need to hold you over until you can get to a pharmacy. So that's kind of the intent. Like here's something just to remedy something temporarily until we can get to a Walgreens or like something like that. So next, I have the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Guys, this is insane. You were little. Did you ever play with like the my size Barbie that had like just the head and that you could do her hair and like it came with a fake hair dryer? I swear to you, this is the exact same size and I bet you that they created it from that. This is called the Baby List. Now, I did try it out and it does work really well. I have a lot of hair. You guys know this. So I had to try this out and see if it was worth the money. I was super duper impressed. The thing that I'm bringing is my curling wand and my flat iron. And then I am also bringing my brush with, oh yeah, there's hair all over that, with scrunchies. Teasing comb as well. Sorry, there's hair everywhere. It just, it just is how it is. And then I also have two umbrellas that I'm bringing. There is a possibility that is going to rain while we are there. So I just figured I'm just going to bring both of the umbrellas just in case. Because honestly, like Jesse and I have tried to fit under one umbrella. It doesn't work. Next, this is a complete manicure kit. It's got uh, clear nail polish, a nail color, a nail polish remover, and then basically nail clippers, file, everything that you could ever need. It's right in here for nails. And since we're going for so long, I figured I'd probably have to redo my nails while I'm there. So when I travel, I wear a lot of kimonos and a lot of basic t-shirts. <laughs> so you'll probably be seeing a lot of that. Um, this is a t-shirt that I got from Maurice's. I just thought it was really pretty and really nice. And so that's definitely something that I will be able to wear while I'm there. This is one of those shirts that have the peekaboo shoulders. I have this in red and also in black. And then I have a regular just plain black tee. I like bringing basic t-shirts and tank tops with me on every trip. I just think they come in really good handy. The next is my favorite kimono I have ever owned. I love wearing this thing. It is so comfortable and so pretty. I got it from Charlotte Russe many, many moons ago. It travels so well and it never needs ironing. Like that was such a good investment. It was like $15. I recently bought this at Kohl's. I just kind of fell in love with the navy blue color and all of these like peach floral elements. And then it's got these like little doily bottom trim on it and it looks really cute on I tried it on when I was in the store and so bringing this 
I just figured that I wanted things that would work both for daytime and nighttime. I don't know how often we're going to be going back to the hotel. I want to be able to look a little bit more dressy just in case we go to somewhere fancy. So I wanted really versatile items for for my t-shirts and for my tops while we were there. Now this is a Lucky Brand shirt that I purchased and it is so darn cute on. It's got this really nice tie on the side and these really pretty flowy sleeves. I have this also in gray. And then again with these little overcoats, this is just a little aviator jacket that is made of silk and floral. As you can tell, I'm really into floral in my regular non-Disney life. <laughs> And then I have just tank tops. I have a green tank top, white tank top, and black tank top. And then I'm also bringing my most favorite, I call it my figment sweater, because it reminds me of figment. And I really love wearing this and it's super duper cozy. That is what I'm bringing for shirts. Now I will say that does not conclude all of the shirts that I'm bringing. And the reason why is because I did decide to bring some Disney shirts. And the reasoning behind it is number one, I'm really tall and I am a larger size uh, in the United States even. And so I was pretty worried that when I got there, my intention originally was to purchase, oh man, I'm gonna have to redo that one. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> um, my original intention when we went was to buy Disney t-shirts there and buy ears there and I'm just afraid I'm not going to be able to find what I want. My goal to always be comfortable, I decided I'm just going to pack four shirts. That way I'm covered every single day just in case. And I'm going to start with, these are so flippin' cute. These are t-shirt rings. So if you remember back in the 90s, if you don't, it's okay. What you would do is you would take the side of your t-shirt and you would feed it through here. And so it like gathers the bottom of your t-shirt. And so just in case they have a lot of unisex t-shirts there. And I just brought these just in case I needed a little t-shirt tie. These are by, I believe the company's called, it's a little something. I will definitely link them down below. So cute. So I'm bringing these along just in case. Next, I also am bringing my ear holder. This thing I absolutely love. They are an Etsy shop. They do such a great job. I will also link them down below. Highly suggest this. These pop over the center of the bow of your ears and then they hang on the outside of your backpack securely and then you don't have to squish your ears when you're going on rides, etc. So, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is my brand new cake worthy shirt. Now, guys, do you see Sebastian? Oh my gosh, this is their new design. And it says, the human world, it's a mess. Okay, so I love this. I'm so excited to wear this at the Little Mermaid area in Tokyo Disney Sea. The next thing that I have is my Monsters University t-shirt. This is from Box Lunch. One of my favorite park shirts. I think it is so comfortable and so flowy. I definitely want to wear that shirt in Disneyland where they have the Monsters Inc. ride. So the next thing that I'm bringing with me is my Pretty Little Monograms pullover rain jacket. I basically don't travel without these things. They are incredible. I have three of them. I am absolutely obsessed. They have a huge kangaroo pocket. They are super comfortable. They keep you very dry. Worth the 40 some dollars. I, I think they're around $40. Definitely will link them down below. Obviously, I have to bring my Lotso shirt, which I think would go very, very well with one of these little Mickey Mouse shirt ties. And then I am also bringing this Dumbo shirt. This Dumbo shirt I purchased at Kohl's. I just think Dumbo's having such a moment right now and this shirt was so adorable. And it's also got like this really cool like tail on it. So I thought, why not? And I would pair it, I'm gonna bring, 
my little knotted headbands that I make. So I'm going to bring one of these for this one. And then this is going to go with the Lotso shirt. And that's just in case I can't find any ears that go with those two outfits. And then I am bringing my Little Mermaid shirt. You guys have loved this shirt. I wear it sometimes on the channel. This is from Primark. It's actually a pajama shirt. I'm not sure it's available anymore. I did get that shirt on eBay and I am bringing these beautiful pink ears to go with it. The next thing I am going to wear in Tokyo Disney is this kimono. This is my Agrabah kimono. So it's got the Agrabah skyline at the bottom and it's also got the um, magical lamp and the carpet and this is beautiful on and this is going to be perfect for Tokyo Disney Sea. Then the final thing that is in my luggage is this handy dandy luggage weigher. So you can actually click this onto your luggage, lift it up and it'll tell you how many pounds it is to make sure that you're not going to get an overage charge. This thing has saved my life in so many different occasions and actually I had it for probably I want to say like eight or 10 years. And then I finally had to replace the battery in this puppy this year. Like this thing is awesome. And it's funny because it's made by Eat Smart. And I was like, are they thinking that this is like an actual food scale? So um, I don't know what you would weigh, what food you would weigh with this, but I'm definitely interested to know. Wow, guys. Oh my gosh, that's it. We're going to Tokyo. This is crazy. Hopefully you'll come along on this journey with me. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Disney Miss Cherry for watching all of our Tokyo adventures that are going to happen and vlogs will be coming out very soon. Let me know down below if you are one of those people that packs literally everything like I am or if you are one of those people that have the ability to just go with the flow and like pack a backpack for two weeks. I am envious of those people. <laughs> so guys, that's going to do it for me today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe down below. And it was super fun hanging out with you. And I will see you guys really soon. TTFN. Bye.